brought together by the faith in social justice and righteousness, powered by youthful idealism, thus was born a force with the determination to change society for the better. At a time when Thailand was experiencing a political crisis, a group of students came together. The Mira Foundation is a non-governmental development organization. The Mira Foundation started working in community development and social awareness in late 1991 with the concept of using theatres, youth camps and trainings to explore taboo issues such as politics and AIDS. No longer clouded by idealism, the Mira Foundation now works to promote the welfare of people in the area of Me Yao in Chiang Rai, a province in northern Thailand. The area is occupied by many hill tribes, including the Akha, Lahu, Karen, and Mian. It was only a few years ago that the tide of change began swallowing up the culture of these hill tribes until almost nothing was left. Each community had to face its own difficulties and weaknesses. Traditional customs that had dealt with problems in the past are now all considered backwards. In the end, those who suffer the most are the children. Therefore, building a strong community and an environment fit for the children to grow up in became the group's prime objective. After all, children are the heart of the community and the hope of tomorrow. This is our work. The Thai Citizenship Program is a project that fights for the children's basic right to hold citizenship in their country of birth and through this gain access to free education and health care, a right that is too often denied to the hill tribes. If creating a good environment for children is a necessity, then eliminating narcotics from the community is an absolute necessity. Thus was born the Anti-Drug Community Network Program. The Ban Nok e-commerce program is a local business that focuses on creating jobs and sustaining communities with what they have by using the latest technology. Local handicrafts are sold on the internet through the website ebanok.com. The Volunteer Teacher Program is the bridge that brings city people and the hill tribes together, creating opportunities for valuable cultural exchanges. People from large cities are given the chance to learn the way of life of children from high mountains, the chance to exchange their views and learn from each other. The Fruit of Friendship will also encourage these flowers of the hills to learn and bloom to the best of their ability. But with the numerous hardships and difficulties within each community, even women and children are forced to take a leap in the dark. They migrate to cities where they are often exploited. The project to combat trafficking in women and children acts both as a teacher and a watchdog to protect their rights and dignity. Share the warmth with those who live on high mountains through second-hand clothes. Help has flowed and continued flowing from every direction to be distributed to faraway villages and made the second-hand clothing project possible. The donated clothes are sold cheaply to reduce the cost of living for the locals, while the money that we earn is used as a fund to help the old and infirm. The world is forever changing and information technology is starting to play a very significant role. 
It is an important new path that can create equality in communication and education. It can be an intelligent instrument to drive rural areas forward. Thus was born the IT Development Program, or Banok.com. Ecotourism is a way to explore cultural treasures and diversities. It is a type of tourism that allows the host to act as a relative, a close friend with an open heart to accept those from a different culture to come and learn a new way of life. It brings extra income to the communities and builds the motivation to preserve traditional culture and customs for ages to come. Banok TV, a television channel by the Hill Tribes for the Hill Tribes, creating a new dimension in rural media where the story on the screen is the viewer's own story, not the story of the rich and famous. The Rural Volunteers Program is another project giving young leaders of tomorrow a chance to get their start on the road to a career in development. Through on-the-job experience, this project helps instill the spirit of volunteerism and community service. Volunteers learn how to creatively use their unique abilities to help spur on development in remote rural areas. Internship Program One more lesson from the classroom of society. This program is offered to current students interested in learning new skills and developing themselves by applying knowledge gained from their studies to the work at hand in the local communities. The Hill Tribe Children's Fund was established with the intent to help promote and improve the quality of life for these children. Fundraising is done to attract kind-hearted donors who want to play a role in helping society through various assistance grants, from educational scholarships and vocational grants to grants to remote educational institutions in the area to promote special project activities. The aim is to help satisfy the basic needs of the children and reduce the dangers in the surrounding environment. Tribe Museum Online, a presentation of the culture, customs, traditions, and way of life of the local hill tribes through the medium of the internet. The online museum includes reports on changes occurring to the culture and ways of life of six hill tribes, the Mong, Mien, Karen, Lahu, Lisu, and Akha. The stories and reports come from hill tribe youth who serve as representatives for their tribes, giving a more personal perspective. In addition, a hall made from straw and clay has been erected to serve as a museum of hill tribe culture and art. Set in Jale village and built with the help of the local villagers, the museum opens its doors to passing visitors and tourists, sharing with them the beauty and magic of the ways of the hill tribes. Because this is our home, the place where our lives are rooted, every drop of sweat from our body and brain flows with the hope that it will wash away the problems and nurture a new tree in every community in this area, and the hope that the pollen from the trees we have planted will spread both far and wide across the lands. <laughs>